In the last tutorial, the punch-in technique was used. This section was punched in here, and this one over here. This was done through the use of the auto punch feature in Studio One. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build up audio composites. First, remove this audio track here. Select all the events, and press delete to delete them. Studio One is set to record to layers. This means if you set up a loop section and it goes through one pass, a new layer will be created after each pass. If you go to the options menu, you'll see that this is set up over here, record takes to layers. Let's test this out. Create a loop section over here, and enable the loop mode. So when this records, it will record an audio events over here, and when it loops back, a new layer will be created after each loop. Then you can go in and select the best takes or parts of takes and create a composite of all the best parts. Let me show you how this is done. Make sure loop is enabled and enable the pre count. Record enable the track and record. So the click comes in. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got the playback. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got the playback. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got your playback. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got the playback. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. There you go. The main part was laid down, and then after each pass, a layer was created. Zoom up a little bit so you can see these more clearly. On the bottom left hand corner is this icon that represents that it's a take. This shows you that all the items were recorded to takes. This is the main audio part here, and these are the respective takes. Currently, take 4 is active. If you right click on the main part, you can choose which take to make active. Take 2, take 3. So you can jump between the takes that way. Another option is on these layers here, you can click this to activate the layer. Click that, that activates one. Click that, activates two, and so on. So you can use that way to activate the layers and jump them up to the main part. What's a real nice feature is quick swap. To use this, make sure you have the arrow tool selected. And now you can swap across on each layer and it jumps it up to the main part. Swap another one over here. It jumps up there. Try again, swap this section here. And maybe another section over here. And this is all jumped up to the main part, building a composite of this vocal part. Now check this out. If you expand the height of this track and then zoom up on it, between each take, crossfades have been placed for smoother transitions between the events. I won't get into crossfades in detail now, but all you need to know is that this feature does a few steps for you in a real quick process. You choose a section of the layer through a quick swap, it sends the section up to the main audio part, and then automatically places crossfades between each part. These crossfades can be edited. You can expand the sides of it, and if you drag up in the middle here, you can change the shape of the crossfade. And the crossfade can be moved around. Now these quick swaps can also be edited. You can go in and just drag them shorter or extend them. As you make these changes, they're reflected in the main audio part. Now that I've showed you how audio comps work, let's check it out in actual use. I want to select all of this and start from scratch. Listen through the first bit. Solo the track, so you can hear just this vocal. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got the playback. Now listen to the next one here. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got the playback. That one's quite nice. Try the next one. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got your playback. There's a bit of a different word in the end there, so let's try the last one. You got the beat, you got the sound, you got the playback. I think the second one is the keeper. Select that, and it's sent up to the main part. Now listen to the next section. 
You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. Listen to the second layer. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. Now the third. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. And now the last layer. Swap across and play back. You need the feel, you need the groove, you need your payback. I'll stick with the last layer. So that's how you do your track comping. You take a listen through all the different takes and then choose which one is the keeper. And to neaten it up so that you only see the main audio part, you can remove these layers over here. So you're left with just the main audio part. And you can always right click on the take icon to change the takes. Go through your audio and decide which parts are the keepers and use the quick swap to send them up to the main audio part. And when you're happy with this, move on to the next tutorial. We'll get into adding effects onto your tracks.